yes, we are really not in the middle, but in the beginning of the corona crisis in the northern European countries. So this means we are in the beginning of the wave, but, but we are very, very far away from the top of the wave. Uh, we, we have an increasing number of corona patients every day. We have some countries which have real problems. All European countries are affected. We have no country in Europe uh, with uh, a, a slowdown, a drop down of the numbers of infected patients. The only for about 10 to 15 percent of the patients with corona disease need uh, hospital care, so they have to uh, they are admitted to hospital and about two to five percent it's a little bit different in different countries are admitted to the intensive care unit and most of the patients on the intensive care unit are ventilated uh, what is very special with corona is and it's totally different from influenza infection uh, it's very easy to ventilate corona patients. However, one of the main problems with corona is even if the patients uh, are in resolution on intensive care, this lasts between two and three weeks. So the mean time on the ventilator for a corona patient is about three weeks. And this tells you that the intensive care beds are blocked for one corona patient for three weeks, which limit the number of intensive care beds. One of the major problems at the moment is we have this pandemic. 90 to 90% 90 of the patients have mild disease and a good resolution, but the other 10 to 15% uh, need hospital care and intensive uh, care, care, and we have no, really no treatment for corona disease. There are a lot of drugs around which are discussed to be perhaps helpful, but nothing is evident. We do not have vaccination at the moment. And there are a lot of vaccination programs in place, but this needs very careful evaluation. Mainly the safety of a vac vaccine has to be uh, evaluated in clinical studies, and there will be no established vaccination before beginning of the next year. Back to the numbers uh, and what I expect. I expect that uh, there will be a maximum of cases in between the next six to eight weeks. This means end of April until mid of May. I hope then there will be a drop down of the numbers. Um, however, the, this is an estimation which does not have any evidence because uh, um, we, we do not know whether the coronavirus has the same patterns than, for example, influenza virus. Normally, these pandemics, after a while, and when the virus uh, spreads from, from person to person, it loses virulence and it loses the uh, potential uh, to be transmitted from one person to another person. If corona uh, uh, does it like other viruses, the numbers will go down end of April, mid of May until June. And then we will have a, a little bit free space during the summertime. Not zero cases, but a lower number of cases. However, it's very likely that it will come back in autumn. Uh, I think November, December, 
whether it will be as strong as this year or there will be an immunogenicity uh, in, in between the population and so the spread will be much lower, this is unclear. The most important issue uh, to drop down corona infection in the future is the development of vaccination and therefore vaccination is the main topic.